Let's talk tariffs. Okay, the simplest way to understand a tariff is that a tariff is a tax on imports. So if uh, Australia wants to protect its local pen industry, it might put a tax on pens coming from America. The impact of a tariff is to increase the price of imports because it's a tax. And that's relative to domestic products. So imports become more expensive than domestic products because of the tariff. As a result, tariffs increase the competitiveness of local producers. That is, domestic goods become cheaper. Okay, so here we are with the tariff diagram and we'll just set up the basic parts of it before we get into it. Okay, so we've got price, quantity, um, supply and demand. Now the important thing is that the curves show us domestic supply and domestic demand. So what we can see is that the supply curve represents how much domestic firms will produce and demand shows how much domestic consumers want. It's very important that you can make that distinction that these are from domestic, okay? Okay, and then we can say that in the domestic market, we get equilibrium. So at point A, we have domestic market equilibrium and demand equals supply. So everything that local consumers want is produced by local firms. Out there in the world of free trade, we can actually get goods for a cheaper price overseas because other countries might be better at producing that good. So in fact, what happens is this. PW is the free trade price. It's the world price. So it's the price we get by buying things overseas. And at price world, something different happens from what happens at equilibrium. Okay, so at price world, domestic supply is equal to Q1. And you can see that's relatively low here because the price is so low compared to equilibrium. So domestic firms aren't really excited about providing goods at that level. But what we can see is that at price world, demand is Q2. And this is because consumers are really excited about getting a price that is below equilibrium. That's really good. So what we can see is at price world, demand exceeds supply. And consumers want to get those goods from somewhere else. So the difference between demand and supply, that comes from imports. So the level of imports at price world is the difference between demand and supply. That is filled from overseas. But what happens in this situation is the government turns around and says, okay, what we really want is we want more people to buy domestic goods because we want to support domestic employment. So we're going to put a tax on imports. We're going to put a tariff on. And this is what that will look like. So what we then get is we get PW plus T, which is the tariff. So you can see it's, oh, okay, so it's P, come back cursor, there you go. Price world plus the level of the tariff gives us this value here. And so what happens is then I get point D and point E. So can you see that as the price goes up, the tariff is imposed, domestic suppliers are going to supply more. And then as the price goes up on this side, that domestic consumers, well, they're going to want less 
because it's more expensive for them. So supply increases from Q1 to Q3 and demand will decrease from Q2 to Q4. So if domestic producers are producing more, what we're going to see is we're going to see imports now are not as big as they were before. They're not Q1, Q2. They're only the difference between demand and supply here. So imports now are Q3 to Q4. They are the difference where demand exceeds supply. So let's go through this one more time. So you can see here that this yellow, sorry, orange shaded area are the level of imports before the tariff is imposed. And then this blue shaded area is the level of imports after the tariff is imposed. So we can see that imports has shrunk because of the tariff. Now the final part is a little bit tricky, but I feel like we can do this. I feel like we've got the skills. So what we need to do now is work out how much money does the government make from the tariff, right? How much money does the government collect because of the tariff? So what we can say is that tariff revenue equals price times quantity, like revenue in any context is price by quantity. So what that's going to mean is that the tariff revenue the tariff revenue is the size of the tariff times the quantity of imports. Because remember that the tariff is a tax on every import. So therefore the size of the tariff here is T because remember the difference between PW plus T and T is T. And then the quantity of imports at the tariff level is Q3 Q4. So that is the amount of money that will go to the government. If you've got numbers, you'll be able to calculate that. So that the important things to work out are, we start with, so we started at PW, right? Well, actually we started at price equilibrium. And then we have the world price, and then the government decides to put the tariff on. So here we go, we're looking at PE, price world, price world plus tariff. Okay, and all of these complicated bits make up the tariff diagram. Oh, I don't know about you, but that tariff diagram sure took it out of me. Anyway, what we're going to do here is we're going to look at the economic effects of a tariff. So without any further ado, let's look at that. That the idea here is firstly, that the tariff will stimulate domestic production and employment. This is because This is because that with the imposition of a tariff, domestic production is going to increase. Why? Because imported goods are more expensive. They are now taxed. So domestic goods are more competitive, they're cheaper. So if domestic goods are more competitive, they're going to be bought more. So they're going to need more resources and workers. If we've got a situation of greater demand for domestic goods, then they're going to need more resources. So more domestic resources are attracted to the protected industries because there is an increase for domestic goods because they're cheaper, because imported goods are more expensive with the tariff. On the negative side here, that an economic effect of the tariff is also that consumers pay a higher price and they receive fewer goods, right? That consumers, 
Consumers no longer pay that world price. In fact, they have to pay the world price plus the tariff because the domestic producer's price raises to that level. So they have to pay higher prices and so plus there are less imported goods. So they get less of those selection of goods from domestic and overseas producers. So in that way, could actually see a decline in living standards because consumers have to pay higher prices and they get lower goods. Now, another impact is that a tariff raises money for the government. The tariff revenue, the per unit tax amount, goes to the government and increases their revenue. But if you think about it, the more successful a tariff is, the less imports will come in and the less revenue a government will get. So it's not really great as a revenue source. Okay, so these are the key economic inf uh, these are the key economic effects of a tariff on an economy.